been waiting for. And I'm going to show you some of the things I dehydrated. But first, I'm going to show you some of the things that I got at the food pantry that I actually just sealed. These are chia seeds, and chia seeds are really good for your digestive system. And they gave these, and I put them in these glass jars. So you can put chia seeds in muffins and breads. You can put them in all kinds of things. In fact, some people even put them in their jams when they make them. So I'm going to be really glad to work on this and to share with you some upcoming recipes using chia seeds. So the zucchini is dehydrated, and it looks like this. Now, a lot of you know what things look like dehydrated, but you want to know how do you use them. Well, these are zucchini, and they're just like a chip. Some people eat them like chips. What I would do is when I'm making spaghetti sauce, I will put some of the zucchini in it. When you make lasagna, you can throw some of the zucchini in the lasagna. You can put it in soups, vegetable soups. You can put it in stews. You can actually put it in casseroles. You can crumble it up and put it in salads. So dried ingredients are amazing to have. That was the whole bag of zucchini in one little quart jar like this. Here is the tops of my onions. So these were the spring onions. I use this the same as you would use chives. Put it on top of baked potatoes. Add it to some chicken broth when you want to make chicken. Add it to soups. Oh, it smells amazing. You can use it for anything that calls for onions. Also, blend it up so it's a fine powder. Here is my prized tomatoes. Now this is by far the best thing I love dehydrating. These were all those tomatoes. And they look like a chip like this. You know they're done when you can crumble it in your hand. But what do you use it for? So many of you had questions. Well, you can put this in spaghetti sauce. You can put it on top of pizza. You can put it in bread when you want to make tomato flavored bread. You can crumble it up and put it in salads. You can crumble it up and put it in with sour cream and make your own chip dip. I put some oregano seasonings to these and it's endless. You can put it in anything, anything that you want a tomato flavor. You can put it in with chicken and put it in your crock pot. Just anything. <laughs> you know, it's by trial and error that you try these things out. Tomatoes is my favorite to dehydrate and this was the third time I've done this and so I hope to be able to do some more dehydrating. So these are the things I got at the food pantry that I dehydrated. I know, a whole car load and it goes down to little half gallon jars. But I want to share with you something I never dehydrated before and that is raisins. So I got all these grapes. What do you do with them? I mean, how do you eat 10 pounds of grapes? So I was looking on the internet and I realized that you can dehydrate them and make raisins. So I have a pack here that's left. All you do is you want to cut your grapes in half. You want to always cut your grapes. And the reason for that is so they dehydrate quicker. If you don't cut your grapes, you're going to have this dehydrator going for days. It takes 24 hours to dehydrate grapes into raisins. This isn't a quick dehydrating project. Oblong. They were shaped different. But they are so sweet, and let me tell you, they make the best raisins. So, I put it on the highest setting. I put it on 155, and it's going to be for 24 hours. 24 hours later, you have this. Beautiful raisins, crunchy, beautiful raisins, and let me tell you, they taste nothing like what you buy in the store. Beautiful raisins. So I'm going to go ahead and put these raisins in a jar, and I am so excited to be able to share with you all of the dehydrating projects. It's something so simple, so easy. You don't have to lug around a lot of water and canning jars and heavy equipment. Dehydrating is the way to go. It is a thumbs up for me. <laughs> Bye.
right everyone so this is what I have on hand and this is my herb mix now I use this for spaghetti we use this for everything that replaces salt there is no salt in this it's got oregano it's got parsley it's got thyme it's got garlic it's got just about everything you can imagine so now what we're going to do is this is all of the herbs that we dried and I put it through a sieve like this this is the easiest way for me to do it and it works out great so what we're going to do is we're going to take all of the oregano and we're going to just scrunch it into this little sieve it's a messy job I like doing this kind of job outside mostly And I'm going to be able to get all of these trays actually in here. Just scrunch it up some more. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to go like this. And we're going to run it through the sieve, which as you've seen in hundreds of videos that I've done, I'll get back to and show you what it looks like when we're finished. All right, and we're just going to put it in here, just like that. Probably harvest about 25 gallon of some herbs, and I will have to keep working on that this week. So, that's just a little bit of what I'm working on today. Cutting up these tomatoes. And I thought, what better way is to use the electric knife. So we're going to slice up these tomatoes to put on our dehydrator. One thing nice about dehydrating your food is it doesn't take hardly any space. So what I decided to do is sprinkle some of my homemade herb seasonings on these tomatoes. So as these tomatoes dry, they're going to have some oregano and some onion. This has no salt added to it. And I think this is going to make them so much more flavorful. All right, everybody. So here are the spring onion tops. And this is what they look like dehydrated. So we're going to go ahead and put all of them into our bowl. Spring onion tops really dehydrate quickly. You can use these in the replace of any onion. You want to just make sure that they are all dried. And you don't want to put it into a jar until it is totally cooled off. You don't want to put it in a jar hot or you'll get moisture. Now there's a couple pieces that I see that aren't dried, so you want to make sure you go through them really well. Spring onions have a lot of nutrients in them. And you can plant the ball part, which I showed you in many videos, and they will grow all summer and all spring you can get so much out of it as you can hear they sound crunchy that's what you're trying to go for is that sound of the crunch run your hands through it to make sure there's a little wet piece make sure you have all of it dried that's why it's very important to cut your vegetables all in the same length and thickness so there you go all these onions now we're going to go ahead and put them in our half gallon jar grind this up if you want it real fine I don't want it real fine this batch I want it like this there you go all of those spring onion tops in one half gallon jar Eeny, some chia seeds and some onion tops, the onions I froze. 
So all of these made some of these. I hope you give dehydrating a try because it's So we have the tomatoes, the raisins, zucchini, some chia seeds, and some onion tops, the onions I froze. So all of these made some of these. <laughs>